Uh, good evening, house. God bless every one of you. And remember, bless, thank God for his mercy. Happy new week. We have entered another week again. So I really want to appreciate God for his mercy and his grace. After mercy, grace again. <laughs> uh, come, I, there is voice note that uh, someone just dropped inside this platform. They call that man uh, Pascal. I think he says his name is Pascal. President of uh, uh, all NGOs. He called himself president of all the old NGOs. There's nothing bad about him being a, a president. President is not even is the issue. If everybody can call himself or herself president in Grand Community and director and everything, at least the money will be disbursed to the masses. It will be okay for us. So whether he's a president or is not the president or non-president, that one is not our business. I don't think that is our business. So, but for him coming out uh, to tell masses that uh, that they should not listen to anybody that want to agitate, that that the NGOs should put their house in order. Uh -huh. I want to tell that man it, it will not work like that because we. Both the uh, uh, NGO owners and the cooperative owners, we, we don't put this house in order more than 10 times. And nobody don't scatter the house. Are you hearing me? Nobody have ever gone inside the house and scattered it because na na lot for scatter the house. But as they have not dropped their lot, nobody has scattered that house. So there is no any reason anybody should be putting his house in order. If, okay, anyway, the NGOs that you mentioned can put their house in order, but I want to let that pastor know that it's not NGOs that are agitating for this particular one. It's not NGOs. Majority NGOs, financially, they are 100% okay. Are you getting it? They are okay. They lack nothing. Majority of them. It is only few that sponsor their NGO. And when we are saying that NGOs, people are bad, they are scammers, it's not all of them are scammers. There are some NGOs that they did this thing financially, they, 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 they financed themselves concerning this grant. All the whole bond, they did it with their money. So you can we cannot just label all the whole NGOs that they are corrupt or they are scammers. No, we have good ones. We have God fearing ones that they don't even collect one naira for anybody. So there's no way we will label all of them that they are bad, they are scammers. No. But it's a pity that I want to let that pastor know that uh, we are not using NGO for agitation. We are not using them to agitate to find out what happened concerning this grant. So Mr. Pascal or pa uh, Pastor Pascal, I don't know whether you are a pastor, I don't know. Sorry, the title, the way I'm addressing the title. Don't worry about yourself. Don't worry yourself about NGOs. We are not using, we, we that are planning how to find out this truth, we are not using NGOs. Are you getting it? We are not using NGOs. For you to come out Monday morning, I start telling masses that nobody should bother. Everybody should put his house in order. That this will, ah, they have been putting the house in order. Let us find out. We are still going to find out what make that money never enter the house they have put in order for long. Are you getting what I'm saying, house? Let us find out what makes that house where we don't put in order for more than eight times, eight good times. You don't put your house in order, sweep and take pack a pack all the way, they do wash the sheet, dress the kitchen, dress everywhere inside the, the room. Still, there is nothing yet that have entered the house. We are going to ask question, what makes that thing that we dress that house, it never enter? So don't come out and start brainwashing people. Prepare ground so that everybody will go and relax. Don't do that, Mr. Pascal. Don't do that. You know, go even walk. Carry your NGO where you do president. Carry them, keep to yourself. It's not NGOs that will agitate for this thing. 
So I'm just preparing people's mind concerning V notes that you gave. That one no work. Go and sit down. I don't have any issue with you. You know, sometimes anytime where you do voice note, you carry Jennifer, they do voice note. That one, you were very careful not to put my name here. That one if, if, even is your problem. But I want to let you know that we are not using any NGO for agitation. We don't use them. We don't we, we don't have any business with them. Because we know how God will help us, how we can be able to know what is going on. So okay, go just sit down one place, please. Stop disturbing yourself concerning all these masses. The way you plan them, it doesn't work that way. You know, go work that way, yeah? Don't come out on Monday morning. You prepare people's mind down for, for uh, putting your house in order. Or we are, haven't we been hearing that for more than 10 times? If you talk of prayer, prayer is still going on. And the prayer is still going on. You go see open one eye, ask. You close one eye, they pray. You take one eye, ask the team why they pray. Father, how the team be? Let us see what we are praying for. God can still allow us to see what we are praying for. It's not be like somebody will want to go do the, the person deliverance. You, you did not prepare yourself very well. Go close to eyes, they, they pray. <laughs> you go close to eyes, they pray. Do you know that like a, a, a demon possessed person can land this lab where your eyes they close? So that is the, in the process of the deliverance. So that is the reason why we will not close our two eyes, they pray. One eye go do open, we'll be asking what happened. What happened? Why this thing never dropped? And it will happen like that. Don't confuse people. Don't distract people's attention. Uh, don't plan it that I don't know who sent you. I don't know how you plan them. Uh -huh. I don't know the group that sent you. That to go and go and talk to masses concerning as a president of uh, as a president of uh, all, all NGO. All NGO. They should not mind anybody that want to agitate to find out the truth. It's a lie. If the money is not paid before 15th, we go find out. We go, we go, we go know who we go ask about our money. So stop saying that, please. No, just go bother yourself for that area. Uh -huh. Because the people that are agitating this, you no know, grand pressure group are doing this agitation. Another new set of people entirely. And we are not asking anybody one naira for anything to gather money for anything. Press conference. We don't need anybody cobble. So leave it. If you reach 15, we go if the, if the money is not paid, we go find out what is holding the money. So stop disturbing yourself, please. Thank you, everyone. My name is Jennifer. Izzy. God bless you all. Have a have a nice day. Happy New Week to everyone. God bless you all. Thank you. A very good morning to you all. My wonderful CEOs in all the 36 states of Nigeria. I want to thank the Almighty God for keeping us all alive to see today. It is important I come your way because a leader doesn't sleep until what he's looking for is gotten or achieved or until you see success and you see your people happy making sure that every effort put in on ground is not in vain or wasted effort i thank all my state chairmen i thank all the executives I thank all members of CEO platform. I want to say this to all of you this morning. That all CEOs in Nigeria, we are in safe hands. Do not regard or put your minds in all this flying news, all these fake informations that are moving around, people are talking and they must talk because they have mouth. People are typing 
sending all manner of messages, they are right because they have phone that we are, they were able to put data. So they will type and they will send anywhere they want to send it to. The one truth I want to let you know is sending, typing, voice note is not a problem. But what are your basis? What are your foundation in doing all you are doing? We don't make too much noise. We don't talk too much. But action will speak louder than voice. And that time is coming and is now. Every CEO in Nigeria listen to me and put your house in proper order every ceo in nigeria listen to me i say and put your house in proper order because this is time the time is now do not join any group do not join any gang that will tell you let us do this or let us do that there is no good thing that come it easy. There is no success that you just wake up and day, you get it. There is nothing that is good in this life that comes easy. There must be sweat. People must toil. People must struggle. Even at a point, got tired. But those who remain steadfast. They are the people that smile and laugh at last. And that is where we have found ourselves. Be encouraged. And I am encouraging you. Be strong. For I am giving you that hope. Because Almighty God will never disappoint us. Under the leadership of our expectation. All through our leadership. And I want to tell you this that the leadership of uh, UAAG and uh, our Ebo, Ami Ebo and the uh, indefatigable country director, Professor Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama and his team are doing something. They are working, they are not sleeping. They are making sure everything comes to landline. They are making sure we rejoice. They are making sure we are not being disappointed. And indeed, we will not be disappointed. Our hope is so high from this morning being Monday, the 12th day, be the 13th day of May, 2024. My dear leaders, my able CEOs, we must be united. We must be together. Because if we keep separating ourselves, you allow enemy to come in. And when enemy comes in, every effort we have made will be thwarted. I want to tell you this, our recompense is before us. And God has already brought it down to give each every one of us according to our works. Please do not panic again. By the grace of God, our time of waiting are over. Our time of pains are over. And this is a time for us to now rejoice and be happy. I want you wherever you are, instead of talking, instead of making noise, instead of listening to different kinds of voice note that makes no meaning, please go on your news. We have invested, we have spent our money and everything. Please go to God in prayer and tell God that let it be now and already it is now. And let there be no more further obstacle or any further hindrance. But those who are somewhere, enemies of the masses, enemies of the people, planning this or planning that, writing this or writing that, I want to let you know that your time, the effort you are putting on ground will be wasted. And God, by the prayers of the masses, will bring you to book. And that punishment, you will not find it easy. That punishment will not come out of it easily. 
because it's going to be a severe punishment on you that you are suffering the masses because of envy because of jealousy because of hatred because of whatever you call it you are making the masses to suffer genuine masses genuine ceos who are putting in their best who are putting in their effort into making sure that they have something to hold on to they find mix to their livelihood and to they look for greener pasture you want to rob them of their joy and happiness let me tell you you yourself will never see happiness or joy all your life because people have invested money they have borrowed money they have done this they have done that this is the time disease from dragging us backward because ceos will never again succumb to our district they will never again succumb to our cheating and the our our long grammars that never makes any single meaning i know that those who are who, if, let me just put it, those who have something upstairs those who are genuine those who are sincere they don't make too much noise they don't talk too much they don't in any way come out when others are coming out because they view they observe the monitor before coming out to say anything and whatever they say is that way so i want to beg you all my ceos remain calm everything is good and uh, whoever that it is that reversed back the radio interview we did over two or three months ago bringing it back whatever purpose you have in doing that it is your business we the ceos have spoken then over all fake grant handlers let me tell you bringing it back makes no meaning makes no difference and whatever meaning you are reading out of it <laughs> you 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 i don't think you're going to achieve anything from that the ceos are standing strong we are not shaking we are not shaken we will never shake we are putting our house in order we are arranging ourselves and they do not worry yourself we are coming and by the time we come you will understand that we are not just people who just come together for coming sake we came together be prepared and we came together with a solid foundation that by the time we knock at your door <laughs> You either open it or you disappear. These are the two things that are there. So that trending uh, uh, radio interview is an old interview for over two, three months ago. So it's not a new one for those who are parading it in the name of whatever you are parading it for. It is your concern. It is your business. We are men enough. We are leaders enough. We know what is good and what is right for us. I don't want you to uh, understand me good or understand we are going to we are not going to i know i am standing in for the masses and the, it is said in the holy scripture that where one uh, 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 wages are is where his or her intentions will be is where his or her mind will be so where we have invested our minds must be there and we must make sure we protect we guide and we support every move to see that this is comes to our table fight all you can fight do all you can do but remember remember when god are for us nobody can be against us and by his grace we are more than conquerors we are victorious already multitude here crowd that we have here <laughs> we definitely we show up and by the time we show up Every man will understand that this is what we are out for. From here, I want to appreciate all the men of God in the house who are praying, who are calling God, who are the different authors, praying day in, day out. Your prayers will never be in vain. Keep it up. Keep it up. And don't join the evil fold, the evil gang and the evil group who are thwarting destroy the effort we are putting on ground the effort of the management to see that things works 
the effort of even the government committee and the, the rest of them. I want to tell you this. Put your eyes on the ground. Put your eyes on the ground. Many will still talk. Many will still type. Many will still write. Please, it's not every typing and it's not every voice note you see you listen to or any, every uh, message sent you read. Learn how to abandon them. And from today, begin abandoning them. Unless it's coming from the right source which you can read or listen to. I tell you all this because we are marking time right now and as of this morning we are on forward march please stand in stand ready and prepare your house don't let anyone distract you don't let anyone make you begin to do what you're not supposed to do put your house in proper order and uh, i want to tell you put everything in prayers god has done it for us all glory to his name all praise to his holy name and uh, any other man or woman that will rise from anywhere to think or plan anything against the joy of the masses this time around the fire that consumes the 400 prophets of baal will consume them to ashes we destroy them because there will be no peace for the wicked there will never be peace for the wicked if you don't want the joy of the masses, you will never ever have joy in your life. You will be crippled and you'll be sick and never to rise. That's our prayers on behalf of all the CEOs in Nigeria, the genuine CEOs that are here. From here, I want to say God bless you all and the congratulations in advance. I remain your humble leader ambassador dr pascal Anyang. bye for now until i come again put your house in proper order get ready and from here my dear people put your house in proper order and do have a lovely day thank you all and remain blessed